What's going on guys, it's Yuval here and in this video I want to show you guys how to create a cinematic teal and orange look in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. So what we have here is the final grade and if I do a quick before and after, that's the original footage that's shot on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, it's shot on a flat picture profile and we're gonna take that and turn it into this. So you can see basically how there's tons of color contrast over here. We got her orange sweatshirt and the glasses and in the background we have this kind of blue teal uh, vibe going on and that's creating some beautiful contrast especially with her skin and that's the whole gist of teal and orange basically that's why it's working so well and I gotta say in this image if we look at the before footage we can see that there's already um, those tones existing in the frame. So in order to create a really good teal and orange look, you gotta have those colors in the frame on set. Before we even go into color grading, you need to have the color palette, right? So again, we can see we have the sweatshirt or glasses and even the hair color. And in the window, we have daylight coming from the window, which is already naturally creating that contrast. So all we're going to do is enhance that. We're gonna push the use a little bit. We're gonna mess on with saturation. And we're gonna end up with this grade, which is super poppy and very vibrant and bright. So let's get started. So we got our footage here. And the first thing I wanna do is convert the color space into Rec. 709. You can see this was shot on a flat picture profile. It's very desaturated, doesn't have a lot of contrast. Um, a lot of people actually tackle this by um, crushing the shadows and messing with the contrast and saturation. And sometimes I do that, but usually and what I would recommend is to actually use a conversion LUT. You can find some of these built into DaVinci and if not, then you can download them. Search for it online, it's not hard to find. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new node using Alt S if you're on PC and I'm gonna call it like 709. Then I'm gonna go into my LUTs and I'm gonna go for Blackmagic 4K Film to Rec. 709. And straight away you can see what a difference that made just bringing the color from the flat picture profile into X709 because we already had those colors in the original frame. But now we're gonna enhance it and bring a few more tweaks in that are gonna really push this look. So I'm gonna create a new node again. And what I wanna do is just add a little bit more contrast. I'm just gonna go down here under my color wheels. And I'm just gonna kinda take it and then Bring it back a little bit. So maybe somewhere around here. And then I'm also going to bring my black point a bit down. And I'm gonna bring my highlights down. And maybe bring the overall exposure a little bit up. Somewhere around there, so that's our node. I'm gonna call it contrast. And let's move on to the next step. And in this one, I really want to start messing around with the colors. So using my primary wheels, I'm going to push a little bit in the general direction of um, the blue teal kind of vibe. I want to get those highlights a little bit more into the teal wall. So I'm just going to mess with it and see where it takes us. So maybe somewhere around there. And then I'm going to offset it with the gamma. I'm going to push some reds. Something like that. And then I'm gonna go over to gain. So after messing with the colors a little bit more, this is where I got to. And this is without the node. And this is with this node. So again, we're just starting to get that look. We're starting to give it more of a unique touch. And I think the contrast is actually a little bit too high maybe. I'd like this to be more creamy looking. And let's take a quick look at the before and after for all of what we've done so far. So this is the before and this is after. So already starting to look really, really good. And let's just continue making some more tweaks to enhance this look even more. So for this note, I'm going to call it U versus. And we're going to go into U versus U. And what I want to do is actually take that blue over there on the window. And I want to take it a little more into the teal color because Currently it's pretty blue, 
I just want to make it a little bit more green, a little bit more teal, and that's going to contrast better um, to the yellow and orange colors we currently have going on. So let's do that. I'm going to just pick this color with the color picker. And you can see that now made a point for us here. So I'm just going to mess around with this point and yeah, I'm going to bring it a little bit over here. And I'm going to also expand the amount of color I'm working on. So now I'm controlling more of the blues and the greens and let's see where this takes us. Yeah. So now I'm really getting in there. Um, this is obviously way too green. So I'm going to push it back. And I think somewhere around here is where I like it to be. So this is the blue color we had before, um, a little bit magenta even. And when I turn this note on, now we got this really cool teal color. Uh, maybe it's a little too much. I'm going to pull it back. And now what I actually want to do is go into U versus saturation. And I'm going to do it in the same node. I'm going to pick this skin color. And obviously it's going to also affect the sweater and the glasses, but let's see if we can bring even more color into it. So I'm in U versus saturation, which means I can control the saturation of certain U's. So we've got all of the reds and yellows chosen here. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is making a pretty big change. I'm gonna push it um, pretty hard so you guys can see. This is really taking a lot of the color out on her skin. This looks terrible, obviously. But just to show you guys, if I push it up, it's gonna really saturate it. So let's try to find a point where we're happy with how things are looking. So because I wanna take this look kind of to the extreme with the colors and with the separation, I'm gonna push this saturation pretty high. Maybe somewhere around there and let's see quick before and after for this whole node. So you can see this one really made a big, big change. It just helped bring everything together. Um, if we look at the before, you can see this is looking pretty nice, but something is a little bit off with the colors. They're not exactly matching. Um, there's good contrast, but there's just something missing. And if I turn this node on, you can see this really just brings everything into the same world. I think we can even push the blues a little bit more into that teal. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to push it a little bit higher. So that looks really good. So for the next node, I'm just going to bring down this whole left side. I think it's a little bit too distracting. It's popping out a little too much. So this time we're going to go into U versus luminance, which helps us control the luminance and basically the brightness of any color we choose. So basically I'm just gonna bring this down. That's too much. Something like that maybe. And you can see this just helps us concentrate more on our subject and kind of even out the exposure. If you want, you can keep the highlights a little bit higher. But again, because I'm going for more of a creamy, uh, low contrast look, I'm gonna keep it somewhere around there. And I'm just gonna call this node Luminance. And in the next one, there's something um, really important that I want to do. And it's turning basically this whole right side of the frame into more of a blue color, matching it with the left side. Because currently it's very neutral, which um, can be cool. But if you wanna maximize the color contrast here, then I think we should bring it a little bit more into the blue side. So what I'm gonna do is create a new node and I'm going to take my qualifier over here. I'm just going to choose this and go over here on the left side to see what I'm selecting. So I'm going to mess around until I get a good key and bring some of that color out. And this should be a good enough key for the purpose of this tutorial. So um, let's go back into the regular view and now I'm just going to go um, with my offset and I'm just going to inject some of that teal blue color into it. So I don't want to go too overboard because this should be less saturated than the left side, obviously. So I think somewhere around there is probably enough. 
And I feel like if we look at this in the perspective of someone who has never seen this frame, this makes sense. Like it doesn't look too extreme to the point that it's obviously fake. So I think we're just adding a little bit more of that color separation to the background and it's just helping us separate our subject even more and it's making her pop. And I think it's another important step into this still and orange look. And then just to wrap everything up, I think we can create a pretty nice vignette to bring out our subject even more. So I'm gonna create a new node. I'm gonna go into the windows and I'm going to create this circle on my subject. I'm gonna feather it out quite a bit and I'm gonna go into my curve here I'm just gonna bring this a little bit up. And I'm actually going to make this bigger and feathering it out a little bit more. So somewhere around there, I think works pretty good. And then I'm gonna create an opposite vignette. So I'm gonna darken the outside. So to do that, I'm just gonna create a new node again. I'm going to push this little blue square onto this node. And it's going to create the same vignette, but we want to invert it. So we're gonna go into the key over here and we're gonna press this thing. And that's gonna invert our mask and then we're gonna go into curves and we're just gonna bring it down a little bit. So essentially the two vignettes together You can see they just helped shape the light and focus our attention in the center on our actor. And I think at this point, I'm happy with the grade. I'm gonna leave it there. And obviously you can mess around with it even more, invest some more time into it, get the use exactly right. But that is most of it. That's how we can really push these teal and orange colors. So I think we've really come a long way. Um, let's take a quick look again at the before photo. We've really come a long way. So let's do a quick rundown and overview of what we've done here. So we had the original footage, it was flat, shot on the pocket 4K with the film color profile. So we had to convert that into YX709, which is the more standard color space. And that brought back a lot of the saturation and some of the contrast, but it wasn't contrasty enough. So we went on to creating another node and in that node, we just brought the contrast up, brought the shadows a little bit down, and also brought down the highlights. Then we had the primaries node, where um, things really started to take shape with that node. We really started messing around with the colors. So what we did is we brought the gain, basically the highlights, into that teal um, world, and then we offset that with the gamma. We brought that more into the reds. So that really started to create this look that we have for our image. And then we started messing around with individual use. So we took that blue, brought it more into this teal greenish kind of world. So that was that. And then we just brought this left side a little bit down using the U versus luminance. Then we made the right side of the frame more blue, which before it was neutral and now everything is blue and is really making our subject pop. Then we added some more saturation and then we did a vignette to brighten the center of the image. So that's how that looked. And that was essentially it. It didn't take long for us to really push the colors and really bring this look together. And I think the main reason for that, like I said in the beginning of the video, was the fact that we already had those colors in the original footage before we even started doing anything with the colors. The blue was there in the background, in the window, and her skin, her um, hair color, the glasses, and her sweater were really living in that yellow world, giving us that natural separation. And all we had to do was convert it into a standard color space and then really start to mess around with the colors and push them and bring the color contrast up. And I think we created a really powerful grade we push this look kind of hard. The look you're going for is obviously going to depend on the kind of project you're doing and your personal taste. But personally, I really love Teal and Orange and I really like the look we made here. But of course, I wouldn't do it for every project. But aside from the actual look, I really hope this gave some of you um, a little more knowledge into how to use Da Vinci, how to use the different tools. We've used the U versus saturation tools. 
uh, you versus you, we've used vignettes, we used a lot to transform our image into X709, and we did just a couple of things that I hope really helps some of you. So um, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, um, first of all, please let me know down in the description below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this, and also give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That would really help me out. And of course, consider subscribing for more of these videos. Also check out my Instagram, it's at uvala96. I upload a lot of frames over there, color grading, behind the scenes, that sort of stuff. So hit me up, it's at uvala96. But I'll be seeing all of you guys in my next video.